With Reflect's new ChatGPT plugin, you can take the information that you find on ChatGPT and send it directly over into your Reflect notes. You can combine the Reflect plugin with other plugins that you find on the ChatGPT plugin store. You can use them to create new workflows and accomplish new things with AI. Your notes will appear in your daily note formatted correctly and ready to go. Let me show you how to install Reflex ChatGPT plugin. To start with, make sure you have a ChatGPT Plus account. That will give you access to the plugin version of GPT-4 here. Now, if you don't yet have any plugins installed, it will appear like this saying no plugins enabled or an icon for the ones you do have enabled will appear here. And if we go down all the way to the bottom, we can access the plugin store. Now, the easiest way to find the Reflex plugin is just to search for it. You can go ahead and click Install, and it will lead us to this authorized page. Just click Connect Your Reflect account, and up here, we're going to select the graph that we want to put it in. So for this video, I'm going to use my demo brain. It will now take us back to ChatGPT, and you can see that we have Reflex selected. So if we want to run through Let's say an example here, we can select a couple. I'll select Zillow and maybe Zapier. And let's give it another example just to try it out. So let's start by saying, please find all of the properties listed for sale in the past 24 hours in Evergreen, Colorado, that have at least one of property. I'll see how it runs it, but it should start by running Zillow. Perfect. There we go. And it will run the query first. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start by having it accomplish what I want to on Zillow. Let's see if it does it correctly here. Perfect. All right. So it looks like it's listing them right here. And once I'm happy with this format, I could continue tweaking it if I want to. But next, I'm going to ask it to set up a workflow using Zapier and Reflect. So let's say that I want to set up a daily property alert where this shows up in my notes, just as the list. So I'm going to ask it to use Zapier to create that workflow where every morning, maybe at 8 a.m., it reruns this query and then sends the list into my Reflect notes. So I'll let it finish here and then we'll give that a try. All right, it looks like it is finished here. So I've got a list of properties that are at least one acre. So let's give the workflow a try. I'll say, please use Zapier to set up a warning alert in my flex notes that runs this list each morning at 8 a.m. and saves them reflect. Probably could have worded that better, but we'll see how it does. All right, so it's using Zapier. Hopefully it will start using reflect here in a moment. All right. Perfect. All right. So it appears that it has set it up correctly. So when you do set up a workflow flow through Zapier in ChatGPT using the plugin, it's gonna, always going to ask you to review and confirm the Zap just to make sure you don't need any changes made. So whenever you do set up a workflow, make sure you go into Zapier and confirm it, make any changes you want, and then you will need to actually activate it and turn it on before it starts working. And just to show you what this will look like on the Zapier end, it will show you the usual workflow page. This is all already set up. So you'll need to go make sure you've got the correct accounts connected. You'll need to test the trigger, test the action here. And then again, once you're happy with everything that it's working, you can go ahead and activate up top. Going back over into my Reflex notes, I can now see this uh, quite beautifully formatted note here that has links to all the properties. And if I wanted to, I can continue to tweak the prompt. I can see here that a lot of these properties look very similar. They were obviously kind of collected together and listed close together. So if I wanted to, I could say, please only include one property for street or whatever. So 
These are just a couple examples. Obviously, there's a ton of different things you can do with all of the different plugins on ChatGPT. So go poke around the store here, see what all you can find. Again, there's many, many, many different plugins here and start thinking of what you could combine with Reflect to make your notes more valuable using AI.